weeks that uh, the weather's going to be good and then it's going to rain on Friday so I'm very much hoping so that I can get my seating done. I got the axle back in the grain drill. I haven't fixed the chain to the alfalfa seed box but I do have the chain so that shouldn't take very long at all. But uh, it's still a little wet so not quite ready for field work. I might try to seed a little bit tonight if that works out otherwise I got a few projects I should do in the shed so we'll see what happens but uh, it is dry enough today we're gonna go out and beat some trees back off the field so we are out here with the magnum and a tree that looks suspicious like it's leaning over the field a little bit why we're gonna make it not that way that one's high enough we'll probably let that go we ain't out here just blindly killing trees, but we just don't want them to beat up on the equipment. Low-hanging branches are really, really hard on marker arms for the planter. I already got one that doesn't really fold up right, so I don't want another one. Or to completely rip one off, because that'd be bad. Well, we made it about three quarters of the way around, and I had a little tree back there, and I'm surprised it's still a little too wet for field work, I would say. There's water in the pond, so. But it's not, not as much water as I thought there'd be in there, honestly. Basically, if it's open dirt and at the top of the hill, it's fine, but nature's cover crop here really took a hold of this lower strip, and yikes. That's all right. If it greens up now and we hit it with the disc, hopefully it won't come back as hard. Remember when I said how I really wish this tractor had a brush guard on the front end? That's cute. Well, cows are milk, supper's eight. The disc is hooked up and there are bangers on the radio. Let's go. Well, we made it out here and uh, about time to click lights on. I'm pretty sure I just have one light. That side is nowhere near as bright as that side. And that side isn't even that bright. Oh well, we'll keep that side at the edge and by golly, we'll make it through it. All I really got is this piece, which isn't that bad, but it goes all the way out there about a mile so yeah as long as we get the edge taken care of by golly we can do it with the front lights which one of the front ones are busted out earlier today that'll happen that front one doesn't work but apparently that one does and i got two hid or halogen i don't know what those are i replaced those like Oh God, about 10 years ago, so whatever. It was probably not top of the line then, and I guarantee it's still probably not top of the line, but it's gonna be good enough for tonight, by golly. Hopefully. Well, let's get with it. Well, we have successfully made one down and back, and uh, visibility on the rear end is pretty one-sided. All right, I'll, uh, I ain't funny, but yeah, I'm, uh, we're going to see how exciting this gets when it uh, gets dark out, because this is less than ideal, and we're really, I got LED lights sitting in the Amazon shopping cart, and I'm betting they're going to get bought tonight, you'll have that, but until then, we're making some dust. Not a whole lot, but I'm betting tomorrow I'll be out here seeding. By golly, I don't know why or how, but we got a second light. The only problem is when that light kicks on, it 
fanatics up the radio, and honestly, I did actually rather have the radio, so. It's just kind of doing its own thing. It comes on and goes off. Someone should probably look into that. But honestly, its days are numbered, and I'm just going to replace it anyway. It has let me down for the last time. This is also the first time it's let me down, but it is the last time. Yeah, so when I left, that one was working. Nothing else was. Granted, there's still another one over there and another one over here, but that just proves it. If you ignore your problems, they'll fix themselves. I'm, uh, I think this bathroom's open. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, she's a little wet. Hoping getting her ripped open tonight. There's a pretty good breeze going. I don't know, we'll see. I don't think, it ain't sticking to the disc or tires or, not, well. Maybe just a little bit. If it was corn planting, I might not risk it, but just throwing seed in the ground. A little oats and alfalfa. By tomorrow, if this wind keeps up, by golly, we might be on to something. Well, boys and girls, we are all done. We're gonna fold this thing up and we're gonna truck her home. And hopefully, I will see you tomorrow. If not at this field, at the farm just over the hill and we'll get some seeding done. I can't wait, I get to reseed that seeding I did last time because uh, I didn't put any alfalfa down. And that whole thing turned into quite the predicament. I'm not sure why that chain fell off that drives the alfalfa box before. But uh, after it sat out there with the broken axle and got rained on, not the seed box itself, but the little cups where it spits the seed out, got all wet and plugged. And that act, little shaft there didn't want to move. So I don't know. If I can remember, I'll actually show it with the uh, crane drill tomorrow but uh yeah that's all for tonight we're folded up and headed home well we are pumping Once again, we are headed out to the field and we're going to try to get some seeding done. I uh, got Dad over there. He's hauling manure. Got him all set up and rolling. The remotes on the white seem to be doing what they should be doing. So hopefully he doesn't have any trouble and I can just keep on seeding until I get done. I guess it's already 12.30 so probably not going to happen. but. What I don't get done today, I should be able to get done tonight. We ain't got a whole lot to do. So, let's get with it. Well, we are headed back to the farm. There's a chain that goes from the axle and travels up the little leg deal for the wheel. And that chain is off the top sprocket. Which I gotta figure out how the hell I'm even gonna get it back on because I can't barely see it there's pretty much just one little hole for grease and oil in the chain and I can look down in there and see a sprocket but no chain so in other words I got a beautiful light used grain drill I'll give someone a hell of a deal on it because I am just over the way it works it is I think it's been like four days of me trying to see not one after another, but every time I try to go seeding, something pops up with it. I'm sick of it. Well, cows are milked. Once again, we are headed to the fields. Grain drill and tow. I uh, did a test pass in the yard. Basically, a chain came off that's inside a piece of square tubing that holds on the whole wheel and goes up to the mainframe. 
just absolutely no way to get at it. It was no fun. It was packed full of grease and dirt and tar and not fun. But uh, in the process of doing that, we discovered that that chain bound up and sheared a keyway on a brand new hub. Luckily, the old hub was sitting right there from when this thing snapped an axle. So, through the combination of the two of those, we got one that works. Seems to be working. So, we'll see. I say, if I break down with this thing again, I'm going to unhook it. And I'm just not going to see anything this year because this will be the third trip out to this farm trying to see some ground and if i had a nickel for every time i drove out here and tried seeding and only went home in disappointment i'd have two nickels and honestly for the 10 acres of new seeding is it's not worth this much headache it's not even worth it up to now but now i'm just spiteful to get it done so anyway let's go well, we just got done with our first pass, and we started way over there. It's blurry. But yeah, it's it's a ways. And uh, just checking, this chain was the one that was off. Well, one of them that was off. The other one's there. That's still driving. We know that's going good. And uh, you can see the little divots in there, which means the alfalfa's feeding. Groovy. There's a little dip there from when I was messing with that chaos. So we're just gonna make sure the middle doesn't run out. Good enough. Awesome. By golly, I think she's working. Sorry, that was probably loud, my bad. Yeah, I think it's working. Not quite dark enough to fire up the light bar, but we'll see. We'll see how long this takes us. Going 10 feet at a time takes a while. We'll keep on giving her. Alrighty, we made quite a few passes. It's our nine o'clock seed check. It is officially dark enough we turned on the light bar. Unfortunately, these lids open the wrong way for that. Eh, I think we got room to throw a bag in, so we're going to throw a bag in. Better to throw it in early rather than run out. Running out sucks, because you, uh, you never know where you run out at. Alrighty. That one. Well... We are one bag fuller. I'd say we're about half done with this field. And that might be about all we do tonight, but by golly, we're doing it. I'm putting my own seed in the ground. It's quite, feels good. It would have been a lot nicer if that thing wasn't such a pile, but by golly, she's hanging in there. Well, time for our 10 to 10 seed check. I only got this little hill here and we're all done here. And I was debating about going and doing the next place down the road, but the later it gets, the less I think we're gonna do that, so. Yeah, we're getting down there. We're Definitely using seed, but I would sure think that's enough to finish this field. So let's get with it again. God, I really wish this thing was like 20, 30 feet wide. 10? Not so great. Well, quarter after 10, and we are done. D O N E. Or D-U-N-N, -N, depending on how you spell it. Yeah, we gotta disengage our lever here. Come on. This is the new one, so it's a little sticky yet. And just so I can sleep at night, we're gonna double check, make sure we didn't run out of seed. 
good. Good, good, good. Well, it took way too long to get this done. Like I said, I wanted to start seeding about three weeks ago. But you'll have that. That's ways up there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess you could say when it comes to seeding, I'm outstanding in my field. Good night. Well, I topped off the drill. Dad got this piece seated and I ran out here so he wasn't climbing on the back little platform on that because I just saw him falling off that and I figured that's probably not a good idea. So, he's only got one long strip to do and then he's going to head it for home. There's one more little piece I'm going to do just to burn up some seed and seeding will be over. God damn. It's like it just started. Man, I really love the old... Uh, Auto sear systems, that way you can skip a row, you ain't got to turn it sharp. It just makes life easy. Look at that thing. Rock solid. The best goddamn auto sear I've ever seen. Well, we are about 98%, well, 99% done, but we got a rock. That's big enough sized. I can grab it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's another one right there. I heard some more clattering, so I'm going to take a walk over here and see if there's any more that are worth throwing off. Well, the uh, last field's getting seeded, so that's done. Um, I had to pull the impeller out from an air tank, which I've done that quite a few times on this channel, and I'm getting sick of recording them. People are probably getting sick of watching them, so. Got that. <coughs> I had to use silicone to make a gasket, so I'm kind of letting that dry before I totally finish that. So, probably won't be hauling manure till tonight at the earliest. Um, I got my truck out of the shed. I was going to... See what's next in line to pull in here to work on. I just got a bunch of lights delivered. I got a light bar to go on that blue tractor, but that's hooked to the manure tank, and I don't want to move it because the impeller's sitting there, and I don't want it bouncing and smashing up that silicone before it's set. So I know it's the white still in here, so I got the oil draining out of it, and might as well change the oil in that. And We'll see, we got a couple of rain days coming up, so I might tear into that hydraulic leak problem, but otherwise we might just run it. Because I miss it. And I haven't decided if I'm doing it yet or not. But I do got a nice new radio to put in there. So bouncing around between this and that and I might get that installed. So we'll see. Otherwise, I bet that light bar over there. I bet that would look real nice up there. Nah, it'll be all right. This thing has got lights and lights and lights and lights. But honestly, it needs it because it has tinted windows. Not saying it was a bad idea, but awesome in some situations. Not so great in others. Did I say I was going to change oil in the light? I did, and I pulled the drain plug, and I was waiting for the oil to run out, and then it got sidetracked, and since then I have swapped around like five calves in the calf shed. I took the grain drill over to my uncle so he can use it, and I was just about to hook up the corn planter to go through this, and I remembered... I was changing oil in the white. Sometimes it's hard farming with ADHD or whatever it is, or just being easily distracted. I 
I bet that pail's getting full by now. Yep. This has the old quick release. And I got the safety wire for it. Just to hopefully keep that from happening, but awesome. The oil is drained out of it, which is now very important to change the oil so I don't forget. And yeah, you can do the math there. Alrighty, we are up on the hood of the blue tractor because there are no lights up here on the front. But our other one does, so I had a sneaking suspicion that turned out to be right that there was plugs for wires. Not only that, there's a little nut, and this one even has a little, whatchamacallit, to keep the threads nice and new. So, you got the lights, I just gotta thread them in and tap into the wire and we're set. How could it get any easier than that? God, those just look adorable on there. Maybe I should have got the bigger sets like I got on the white over there. That's funny. They should be bright though. One thing I did notice was that uh, it does matter on these positive to positive and negative to negative. So usually you can kind of flip flop those and it don't matter as long as it goes through it. But so, and I also wanted to check to make sure there was power at that plug because you never know, they could run the wire, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has power. So, since I got it to this point, I'm going to turn the key on, turn the light on, and just poke them in that little plug there. Little pointers into the little holes, it should work, if there's power. Well, I gave power to it, and it still had no power, so I come over here, and we're after light number four, and it does have a fuse in it but it has no relay so we're gonna steal one and when i was doing that i discovered my number one light focus there we go that got a little hot but it still worked so we're just gonna put that one right back in and oh just for today we'll borrow number two actually wait no nah. Number one. Yeah, we'll just borrow this one. I'm probably going to order two of these. All right. Let's see if that gives us some power now. Yeah, get your little hole there. Oh, Jesus. Yep. It works. And it's bright. God, that'll burn your pupils out. Okie dokie. Oh, we got our lights on the blue tractor and we're going to top this thing off with fuel and spread a little more manure before milking time and maybe, just maybe, someone will come take over and keep hauling through milking. That'd be pretty awesome, but yeah, I'll get a shot of that blue tractor. I totally forgot to uh, check in when I was done with it, but they work. Looks pretty snazzy. It still looks commonly sm comically small in there, but oh well. Looks are one thing, works are another thing. Just listen to it, purring like a kit. God, this is my first load of slurry for this year. I actually get to use my nice little new remote. Which is actually just the exact same as the old one, so really not that big of a deal. But by God, it even works. Still slow. That's okay. Things won't get tore up as bad if it's a little slow. Beautiful. Yeah? It could be bigger. They're almost like secret lights. You know, as I was sitting there clicking the remote, and uh, I just had a good sudden 
nostalgia for what manure hauling used to be. This was a 1370 case. Um, that door wasn't there. This cab was not very nice. And every single power shift was a smack in your head off the back window because it jumped and I wouldn't be talking like this. I would be screaming because that thing was as loud as about anything. He did have a radio, but uh, it only got one channel and that was Rush Limbaugh. And by golly, by the end of Hall of Manure that day, you were so mad about the way the world was then. Just good times. I, uh, I definitely enjoy this a lot more. Yeah, air conditioning, especially on the hot days, got dang it, you can't beat that. So I look a little pampered these days. Pretty much all the tractors got cab and air conditioning. I got order parts for the four wheel drive Magnum because that AC needs a little work. And the newest 2150 white that currently doesn't have any air conditioning in it, so we got to do something there. But yeah, for the most part, everything is pretty comfortable to run these days. It's kind of wild. I'd say about oh, just over 15 years, we'll call it. The equipment has totally just gone crazy. And every now and then you're like, oh, you know, I missed that. But yeah, that'd be fun for about 15, 20 minutes. And then it's like, this, this is sucks. It was like when I was working on the 2150 white that I swapped the engines in and I ran that thing without a cab. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Maybe we would just leave the cab off it. But yeah, after sitting there listening to a straight pipe for about five minutes was four minutes too long. So yeah, you never know. You get a wild hair every now and then. But What's fun in the short term is not very fun in the long term, so. We'll stick with nice cabs. We're not getting too crazy. I ain't going out and buying a new tractor by any means because I don't want that headache, but. That late 90s, early 2000s, they just, hmm, right on the money. Just enough technology to keep it comfortable and they didn't go too crazy with it yet. Everything still works like it should. I really shouldn't even say late 90s. This is the uh, Boxcar Magnum came out in 89 and that is, that is the peak of American engineering on farm tractors, I mean. Granted this blue one's probably a little more comfortable in the cab, but if I had my choice between which one to own, between a mag boxcar Magnum and these blue tractors, I'm going to take the Magnum. They gave us a lot less trouble than this blue one. Not saying this blue one has. This tractor's got 17,000 hours on it, okay, and she's still going pretty good. And 99.9% .9 of the problems we have with it is just some electrical solenoid, yada yada, that in the Magnum is a linkage or cable. And that's, by God, that's where she shines. Why they ever went away from that is just stupid. It certainly wasn't for us. 